lot of people are asking, oh, can we turn off the Zen animations? Can we turn off the score pop-ups? All this sort of stuff that you know we often do on Steam. How does that translate into the, um, the, the table package? Can you do that sort of thing in there too? You can turn off the ball trails or ball effects, whatever you call them. I know everyone has different terms, but yep. you can't turn off the in-game animations. Uh, on the Williams games, those are shipping in their authentic, uh, you know, like recreation. So you know you're not going to have all the like the, the second all version. The yeah, that's also pro physics there. But um, you can turn on and off ball effects. So that that's kind of across the board for all three games. You can you can turn them off. So okay, when so you say the ball, ball effects, you mean also the scores that pop up? Um, that's a good question. I don't know if, the, if it's turning off the, the pop-up scores. I think it's just the ball effects. I can go check it out after this. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, you, that's know, like, you don't, you don't look at, you don't really, you're like, cause you're looking for something very specific. I actually right. haven't, uh, I haven't even turned off the ball effects myself. So. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. That's a good one to sort of get out there. Cause I think a lot of people want to know, like if they can just make it more look like just traditional pinball. Like mm -hmm. without some of the Zen overlay stuff over the top of it. Yeah. And then you said that uh, the the Williams tables are going to be playing with the Pro or the Williams Physics, as we like to uh, refer to them as. Um, is that going to be the like right now? The tables that are pre Volume Four have lack the flipper physics that the ones Volume Four and after do have. Um, is that going to be still the case with the, these selected tables, or has uh, that been? put back uh, uh, the, the improved physics put into those early tables for this cabinet release. Yeah, those tables have the improved physics. So like I, we've been working on getting all of our tables, you know, implemented with, with those Williams physics uh, and those are done and those are shipping in the game uh, with that, with those updates. Very good. Another thing people mm -hmm. have been asking us about for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And, I'll just say, and it's also, it's the uncensored versions of those tables as well. Okay. So, uh, you know, we have uh, our rating limitations in, in various platforms, but here getting the, the, the full unaltered versions. Of course, That's the funny good. thing about that is, is that so many of the alterations are on the side art of the cabinet and the back box of the cabinet, which we're not going to be seeing anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, there, there's things in the content. I mean, you know, there, there's just little things, but uh, it's all there. Is it sort of like a, a hybrid Android build, like the Williams Pinball sort of style build, or is it like completely different? Like we would never have seen this software before in any yeah. flavor. No, it's a good question. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. Um, you know, I did hear the machines are shipping. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is running basically a high end Android version of, of the game. So, uh, when you think about keeping the cost down, you, you know, we're not running a high end PC in there, it is no it's like hard, hardware. Um, the chipset, you know, and chipsets are, are changing very quickly with Android. So by very soon, actually, we could have an even powerful, uh, a more powerful chip in there. And that's, like I said, the update sort of kit that we can get out to people. Mm -hmm. if they just want to order, we just give them a board and they swap it in and there you go. Is it you or is it one up? Is it a, a combination of both? Uh, how do you guys pick which tables we're going to be uh, put into each of these cabs? It's a good question. Uh, we kind of want, you know, we've, we've got a lot of tables for Star Wars, Marvel, and Williams. We wanted just uh, a good selection of themes and content, whether it was character-based or location-based or film-based. Um, in the case of Star Wars, for Marvel, just like, you know, uh, if you'll notice that there's no cinematic tables on, on in this game list. Yes. It's all uh, uh, comic-based. So mm -hmm. Marvel, Sirtis, you know, they had a lot to say about that. Um, the MCU stuff, they wanted maybe in its own, uh, you know, unit, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, for William, yeah, it was just about like, um, you know, we love all these games. How do you pick? <laughs> so, you know, that was it. That, that's the process. Roll the dice and there you go. I assume that uh, Marvel also is the one, uh, they came up with the cabinet art regardless of what the actual tables that you have include. And I only say that because I see Black Panther and uh, there is no Black Panther table. <laughs> <laughs> It has a very, very, very small, very quick cameo in Civil War table. So, oh, okay. Because <laughs> I, I realized I was like, you know, I bet in order to have Captain Marvel on there, they've got to put in A Force. And I was <laughs> correct about that one. Um, yeah. And you know what? The, the licensing effort for this is unbelievable what has gone on. Because, um, you know, we deal with the games groups. 
This is a physical product now, so it goes to a different licensing group um, at Disney for Marvel and, and Lucasfilm. But then you have crossover between the games team and the physical products team. You've got music, you've got the game itself, you've got likeness. I mean, what goes into this is unbelievable. And that's why, you know, I, I've been so vocal and so like, you know, this is the way you do it right. You can't just come over here and, and take our stuff and promote it and, and and say, buy our machine. It doesn't work like that. Right. So, <laughs> um, You had made mention of this uh, again last time we talked to you and a lot has obviously can change within that time period. Um, but you had mentioned that since quite a few of the, uh, either the Marvel or the Star Wars tables are wide body, and that's not the shape of the monitor. That some of them are going to maybe have to have their the shape of the table changed somehow. Or you would mentioned that it was going to need to be able to fit the monitor. Are they going to look in cabinet mode wildly different than what they look on, say, your phone, which obviously is a cabinet mode view? Yeah, they're going to look different. We moved uh, the, the camera itself, the positioning of the camera, um, so the table is, is formatted correctly. Again, another optimization, another bunch of work that we did for every... 30 of these tables, right? Um, and so, yeah, it, they're going to look different than what they were before. My TV went to sleep. Yeah, we did yeah. go to sleep. Um, <laughs> that's Because I think that's also a, something to point out for anybody that is thinking of, well, hey, I already have a virtual cab. Why would I want to get one of these? Mm -hmm. It is going to be a different view than if you were just, you know, had Steam running on your virtual cab. Yeah, it's a, it's a different view. Uh, I mean, like the cab features that we optimize for Steam. Um, look, there, there's so many different hardware. <laughs> We'd never be able to like give everybody their own specific optimization. So we try to provide, you know, I think the roadmap is like we give people tools to optimize for whatever screen they're using. But these ones are specifically uh, optimized for this size screen in this environment with the hardware that's inside the machine. The obviously these are all tables that um, you know, with the Marvel and Star Wars, those are licensed that. I think those are why those are going into the retail stores because anybody can see that and immediately go, oh yeah, I want that. Which I find it strangely enough that the Attack from Mars cabinet, which I know a lot of us more hardcore pinball players are like, that's the one we'd want, that that one's going to be the online only. But I kind of almost get it in terms of what grabs the attention in, in, you know, on a store shelf. But where mm -hmm. that makes me wonder is what could be the future of Zen Originals and like the non-licensed Zen originals uh, appearing in a cabinet at some time. Yeah, I think, um, so there's a lot of, there, you know, there's a lot of options on the table for what we can do. And uh, what we learned about the retail business is they need things at a certain price point and they want things with a certain IP on it. And they, you know, the, the buyers respond a certain way to that. If you get a little too expensive and they don't, they don't want to run it, they just can't sell it here. If you don't have the right IP, it's not going to find its audience. With these stores so i know rk went up is building their online presence so that they can ship direct to consumer mm -hmm. but actually also save costs because then you get rid of a lot of middle you know middlemen so to speak at, in the retail model um the, a lot of people have asked for like specific zen ips branded on the cabinet um it'd be cool like personally i'd love to have a doom machine you know all this right like, like this is yeah. my rock my rock and roll pinball that's what i think about i want dudes. the aliens one alien i'm just aliens, aliens. come on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aliens. machines with cool artwork that people want or make it swappable like just you can have your machine be an alien this month because it's april 26 alien day is coming and then like now we're getting ready for may 4th so we got my my star wars can we make it customizable and then the online connectivity uh, enables other content to be you know downloaded to the machine or do we ship a game that has a limited number of tables because we can't build a 20 table universe with uh, every brand and then we just supplement it with Zen Originals. So um, there, there's a lot of different options on the table. Uh, again, look, the very the good news is we had an allocation of Marvel units go to GameStop uh, the other day and they sold out like instantly. So right. mm. we said, okay, good first step. You know, um, I can't tell you what the number is, but it's impressive. And uh, in, in, so we're starting, we're, we're seeing the, the response and it's like, you go to the next step. I mean, that's, you know, that's the way it's going to go. 